Hey, what's going on there folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this Monday here on planet Earth. It's June 12, 2023, about 1224 here along the west coast. That's the state of California. Latest quake looks like uh, some movement down into the Indonesia area. Also a 2.0, 2.0 coming into the Turkey region. We did see some uh, further activity overnight up here into the Aleutian Trench. Well, I don't know. This is way up north away from the plate boundary here. 5.0 coming in earlier this morning. Uh, USGS has not picked up on this earthquake yet. Uh, so this is a little questionable. Let's see what the GeoNet servers are report or the uh, EMSC folks here are reporting. Uh, this earthquake way up north into the Alaska or the uh, Russia region, 10 kilometers deep. You can see it there on the map. The star is the epicenter. Looks like the source parameter is currently provided by the Germany folks there. So uncertain on if this is uh, a legit earthquake or not. Either way, it is being listed on the Earthquake 3D globe currently. We'll see if USGS picks up on it. As far as uh, further movement overnight, I'm uh, going to start off here along the west coast. A little bit of activity off the coast of Oregon uh, near the Blanco Fracture Zone. Just shy here of the Cascadia Subduction Zone. 3.0, that one coming in just after midnight. The Pacific Northwest relatively quiet. Uh, we do have some movement inland here into the Idaho area near the Chalice area and Stanley. 3.7, the largest though in this little sequence of earthquakes so far this morning. Uh, down into the rest of the state of California here. Most of the activity across the region around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. A little spotty as we get down south into Southern California. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of uptick here recently. In fact, over the past, oh, the past couple days or so, things have been a little on the light side. Of course, there's always earthquake activity out here. Uh, but if you were to count the 2.5 and above, well, as you can see, there's only two earthquakes being listed. Um, from the last 24 hours, that's a 2.6 in Gilroy uh, and a 2.5 up around the Walker, California area. It's up there around the Antelope Valley Fault Zone. Uh, so for the most part, very minimal activity there in the state of California across Oklahoma and Texas. Most of this activity from yesterday, it looks like, uh, although we did see a, another 2.9 down here into the uh, Pecos, Texas area to the northwest out in these, uh, well, Let's take a look here real quick out in these oil fields in the desert of Texas. Uh, you can see a lot of these wastewater disposal facilities, ponds and whatnot. Uh, there's a reflection off the water. Uh, this area does see quite a bit of earthquake activity out here in those oil fields. One earthquake up against the Appalachian Mountains there in Tennessee, a 1.8 from last night. All right, so far as big, large scale activity overnight, uh, well, it uh, doesn't look like we've seen too much uptick. Most of this activity from yesterday around the Volcano Islands area. Uh, a look here at the globe. A lot of red circles on this globe indicating older movement uh, with generally microquake activity here across the Indonesia region. Um, South America about the same as last night as well. We really haven't seen any major uptick. Uh, we are still seeing some movement down into the South Africa region where they did have uh, another 3.1, this area has been showing um, some elevated activity here recently. Uh, let's go back to the last seven days or so. Um, there's been more activity outside of the uh, Johannesburg area, South Africa. But again, USGS only shows 4.0 and above. But there has been a handful of smaller quakes out here in this region. Uh, this is definitely a ways away from the plate boundary. So these are intraplate type earthquakes. Uh, but occasionally they do pop up here and it's been somewhat elevated across this region. Uh, let's see what else we have here across the area. One earthquake, it looks like way up north here into the New Brunswick area, 2.0. That one coming in yesterday. Uh, earthquake 3D globe here. Not a whole lot shown uh, across the Mediterranean. This is all generally microquake activity. So overall, things somewhat moderate uh, in certain areas. Um, that's even a, a very um, heavy word, I think, for today's activity. It's been generally quiet, I should say. Uh, activity there in New Zealand. Still watching this area for some movement. 
Uh, let's go back over here through New Zealand. Uh, nothing showing up on the USGS map. Again, that's because of the threshold that the USGS uses uh, in reporting earthquakes. Uh, let's go here to GeoNet. See what's being reported here. An hour ago, 2.4. An hour ago, 2.5. Uh, this earthquake right here, the darker colored circle, was from the 9th. Uh, but far as any larger scale movement goes, looks like a 3.6 a couple hours ago. Uh, but aside from that, generally microquakes across the region of New Zealand still. But uh, waiting on that uh, to take some adjustment. Black Stump Farm area, that looks like that, that's going to be the three-pointer that showed up here. It did show up on a few stations there around the North Island area. It's going to be this earthquake right here. Uh, but aside from that, it uh, looks like things still uh, haven't taken place yet here in terms of uh, uh, movement. I've been watching this area for a little while, but it's been holding steady while the rest of the plates around uh, the New Zealand area continue to move up north and also down south here recently. Not a whole lot today, but uh, still keeping this area in mind. For some further movement. Alaska region looks like mostly smaller microquakes across the area today. Still seeing a little bit of swarming up north outside of Fairbanks where they seen that uh, five-pointer come in. Yesterday just some aftershock activity it looks like for now off of that little fault system. Space weather activity well that's another story it's just kind of uh there currently not a whole lot going on 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare at 15 percent chance x flare around one and that is due to the lack of um unstable sunspots there's numerous sunspots here on the sun don't let that uh don't let that fool you but there's there's nothing really of interest here that i can see amongst these sunspots they all are fairly stable not a whole lot going on across the eastern limb of the sun. Uh, and unfortunately, that's uh, going to be the uh, future, future here for a couple days unless we see something major developing uh, that will be coming around the bend facing the earth here in the coming days. No major uh, corona holes facing us. No major space weather events here that are heading to the earth anyway. This was from... Uh, it shows June 12th, but that's UTC time here. So that was yesterday. That's that prominence or that uh, filament eruption. Blasted off the uh, northern section here of the sun away from the earth. Uh, if that had been directed at earth, then we could obviously see some of that plasma and charged particles and energy headed towards the earth and uh, producing a nice solar storm here. But unfortunately, that was away from our planet. So we're continued with uh, very minimal solar weather conditions for now. A uh, quick glance here at the weather forecast for today shows uh, mainly thunderstorm activity across a good portion here of the states. 2% chance for tornado probability across Colorado, New Mexico with a 5% probability across areas of Texas. Uh, that includes Waco, Brownwood area, Stephenville, Texas area with uh, looks like the main threat though is going to be some large hail with a 30% hatched area across Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City. Uh, not for sure why Oklahoma City's in there. They're not really in that, uh, well, they're up here a little bit, but I don't know why they mentioned that. It's way up north here, away from this hatched area. Uh, Arlington, Texas area, all getting in on some uh, good hail. So make sure you guys put your car in the carport or underneath something today for uh, that hail threat. Any storms that do develop. Could potentially uh, bring that threat of large hail. Also wind events here across the area in that hatched area see uh, at least a 10% or greater probability of wind gusts above the 20, uh, 25 knots area. 25 knots region or greater within 25 miles of a point. So those are those straight line winds, outflow winds and uh, whatnot that come along with those thunderstorms. Uh, but aside from that, uh, let's see here. We don't have anything major coming up in the next couple days. Uh, just generally a, a shifting to the east of the thunderstorm activity. Out here in Northern California, got, uh, again, a little threat. Most of the activity has been confined to the mountains. Occasionally, these thunderstorms may make it down into the valley, like last night here outside of Chico. We got a little bit of sprinkles. No thunder or lightning, at least where I was at, but a little bit of shower activity. That could be the, uh, 
the picture again today as maybe one of those will slip down into the valley but for the most part thunderstorm activity is very prominent uh, across portions here of the Intermountain West and um, looks like up into Wyoming as well that includes a good portion here of Yellowstone all right folks I hope everyone has a, a beautiful day make sure you guys stay safe out there and um, I don't think we got anything changing up here across the volcanoes currently. There's always volcano activity. Uh, I've seen some volcano activity there around the Philippines here recently and um, other areas around the globe. Well, those are almost always active, it seems like. But for the most part, the ones that are calm and sleeping, aside from Kilauea Volcano and one up north in Alaska, the Great Skin Volcano, uh, things are just kind of uh mellow for now green across the board for all the uh, volcanoes in the states here in the uh western portion of the country Alrighty, have a good one we'll catch you guys back here later tonight take care and have yourself a beautiful monday